What is up guys, me like here and today we're back in action playing some uh, Resonant Rise And uh, today is going to be freaking amazing So, uh, um, I'm trying out OBS for the first time with Minecraft I feel like I've tried it out before And uh, it never really like seemed to work I always thought it would uh, kind of be a little glitchy and stuff whenever I did before But maybe I didn't have like, maybe I had some like weird settings at the time Because I just did a sample recording for about 5 minutes and watched it and I ran around and stuff, and it seemed fine. Tell me what you guys think about it down in the description. Also, uh, someone said that the, the stuff in the top left is kind of distracting. But I think for this episode, since I'm trying out um, OBS for the first time, I think I'm going to keep it up there. And you guys can kind of, like, watch and see how much better this actually is compared to, like, DX Story or whatever. Now, it does use a little bit of power, but it's nowhere near as much as, like, if I'm using DX Story. And I think it has to do just with DX Story in general and... I really, I don't know, it's just really strange. Anyways, I'm done talking about that. You guys probably don't want to hear about it anyways. Um, but, you know, just I just kind of want to tell you guys some of the stuff I've been doing behind the scenes uh, and that kind of stuff. Also, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you'll notice that I think I tweeted out that I have a new server sponsor. Now, I talked about this a little bit in my latest Sky Factory, which I guess this will be up before my latest Sky Factory. I just recorded it earlier today. Um, so yeah, pretty much I have a new server hosting company and it's called Eclis. They're sponsoring me. So if you guys have been around for a while, you guys know that I used to be sponsored by a place called Court Servers. And uh, I used to put a little thing at the beginning of my videos that says, you know, uh, proudly sponsored by Court Servers. Link in the, links in the description below, something like that. And um, the reason I did that is because I knew the owner of Quartz. He was really nice, dude. He gave me anything that I wanted. Like, like he he supplied me with pretty much all the servers I needed for all my series, and it was amazing. Of course, I didn't make any money off of it. The only thing I got was, you know, pretty much free stuff, and he got advertising for it, so it was amazing. Um, with the Kliz, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, I've partnered with them. I think they, they're, they're a pretty big company. They've been around even, like, way before Minecraft has been around. Um... But if you guys notice down in the description, if you guys want to transfer over from what you, from I know Quartz closed down, they went somewhere. But if you guys have a current server and uh, you don't like it that much and you're looking for a new server, um, I've really tested out uh, the Cliz servers and they work really fantastic for me. Um, so far, they have so far. So you know, I'm trying to be as fully transparent as possible. Now they are giving me free stuff, but I mean, if they if I didn't like them, then um, I wouldn't be using them and I definitely wouldn't be telling you about them. Um, so yeah, I just um, if you guys want uh, to get a server or something like that to host whatever you guys want to do, uh, there will be a 20% discount for the, the first month if you do use code MEDILOCK in the coupon. Also, there's a special like referral link down in the description. I think it's a cliz.net slash MEDILOCK that uh, kind of shows all the traffic that I bring to their site and stuff. And you know, the more people I get, the more servers and you know, like more resources they're willing to give me. So it really help me out if you guys you know kind of do stuff like that. That'd be freaking amazing. Now, if you already have a server host and you're happy with them, then just, you know, stay with them until maybe you want to do something like, you know, help me out. And maybe after your uh, your thing is expired, maybe switch over to a Cliz or something. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever you guys want to do. It doesn't really matter. It's just something that um, it would help me out and stuff like that. Uh, I know a lot of I brought a lot of people to courts and I was really sad when they closed down. But a Cliz has been around for like 10 years now so uh, hopefully hopefully they're gonna be around for a lot longer so we don't have to worry about anything like that and they should be my sponsor for the foreseeable future hopefully years to come um, so yeah that's all I'm gonna talk about it also uh, patron we did get a new patron I'm not gonna write his na name down though but I just want to tell the guy that I love you so much and thank you I'm not gonna just write his name down because it's not the end of the month I do that kind of stuff at the end of the month whenever the the stuff goes through so yeah, uh, I just want to say I appreciate it, and uh, we'll, we'll you know, do that next time. Okay, so uh, now let's start. I don't have a lot of time today, which is why I was telling you about the Cliz. Plus, I just want to kind of inform you guys, keep you on, on track and what I've been doing. So we don't have a lot of time today, um, so we're going to do some stuff. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. I kind of want to make a bunch more of these, to be honest. I want to make, like, a bunch of these. Um, and I feel like I had something else to tell you guys. I can't remember. Oh yeah, Shadow Steed. Uh, I want to do some of Shadow Steed real quick. <laughs> I saw this in. Um, it's in the. Uh, let me let me look right here. If you look in the Thaumonomicon, there's something right here called a riding crop. Now I don't know if these work with Doctor Zark uh, Mo creatures, uh, horses, but we're gonna try this out. And apparently it's kind of like the thing in Zelda where you'd hit it and you know make it go faster, uh, something like that. So we're gonna go ahead and try this guy out. So I need one, two, and then uh, we need a piece of leather. Uh, let's see, boom, and I guess just a riding crop. Yeah, there we go. So let's go ahead and ride this guy. Um, let's uh, let's come outside here, and then does this work? Oh, does it hurt the horse? Oh, 
Me? I don't know if he like goes faster or what, <laughs> but I'm like hitting him. Go faster, go faster. Maybe it only works with vanilla horses. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I thought that was funny. I thought this thing is funny. You can like, you can like hit them and like make them go faster and that kind of stuff. Anyways, I'm going. Oh, oh. Also, someone told me that. Um, yeah, I feel like this intro is going on forever. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> someone also told me. Yeah, the reason I couldn't do this is because I never tried to repair it after it was enchanted. You have to enchant this first. Uh, so yeah, that was the reason. So yeah, I have this. I can keep this guy forever now, which is pretty sweet. Okay, we're back. So what I want to do is I want to make my very first golem. So we haven't made a golem so far. I'd actually like to do a lot of things with golems, but I think for now we're gonna try a clay golem. And I'm not sure. I know some of them can carry more, and some are slower, and some are faster. But I'm not sure. I, I don't really know like the perfect way, like what's the perfect golem to you know like plant crops and harvest crops and that kind of stuff, or do certain tasks like you know get all the stuff out of here. So we're just gonna kind of mess with it and see what we get. Anyways, the first golem I'm going to make is let me not like jump onto that is uh, the clay golem. So let me go ahead and throw some stuff in here. Uh, let me get some bricks and then boom, there we go. We got a clay golem. Nice. Uh, that's really cool, actually. Uh, so, yeah, it required Humanus, Modus, and Spiritus. I think most of them require almost the same things, right? Let's see. Do they... Uh, Modus, Humanus, Spiritus. Yeah, kind of the same things, just maybe more or less of whatever. Um, next thing we want is we actually want a Golem Answers Bell. And let's see. Ooh, Golem Upgrade Fire, making your Golem all fired up. Uh... Okay, yeah, you can just do all, you can do all kinds of upgrades. Because I know there's also these guys down here. Uh, which can make them stronger or, you know, move faster, carry more, that kind of stuff. I'm not really sure what these guys right here do. And there's also, like, advanced golems as well, which I've never played with as well. But I want to make a Golemancer's Belt. This is actually really easy. It's just Nether Quartz and a stick. Uh, so let me go ahead and I guess I think I have Nether Quartz right here, right? Uh, I used to. Did I? Am I just not seeing it right now? Maybe I'm not seeing it. Uh, let, me, let me run over here. We're going to grab some Nether Quartz and we're also going to grab a stick. And then hopefully, oh, I'm going to use all my food. Oh, also, you can see down there where my experience bar is. You can see, like, I guess that's my mana, like my mana that I have left. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. So let's do nether quartz. Uh, one, two, three, four. And then we want one stick. Where's the stick at? Also, I feel like my voice sounds weird today. Does my voice sound weird? I don't know. I feel like I'm hoarse or something. I don't know. It's kind of strange. Uh, also, I want to say that uh, I think the the day right there. This is a single player world, so every day you see is actually a day played by me. So I think I, I think in the beginning I did some time set days, so I might be missing like ten or twenty days. I, I don't know exactly, but I, I won't be doing that throughout the rest of the series. So uh, that that should be like an accurate day count of uh, what I have or whatever. Um, so yeah, there we go. There's a stick, and there's some nether quartz, and we need a wand. Uh, let me go ahead and grab my wand out right here. Uh, boom, we got a Golem Mancer's Bell, nice. And we're back, so, uh, <laughs> I've been doing some stuff, I just encountered some major crash issues, so I had someone help me with that, and it was some kind of mob in the nether that kept putting a potion effect on me that kept making me crash, and then I've also been tweaking with my mods, I just added Pam's Harvest Craft, uh, because I thought it might be kind of cool to make some sandwiches and stuff, I don't know, so pretty much I have every single mod enabled, and except for I just disabled, um... Uh, falling Meteors mod. So the only two mods I have disabled is Falling Meteors and I think Ethercraft. And that's just because Ethercraft and Project E are practically the same thing. And then, uh, so pretty much, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this is World Download Day. So if you guys want to play, uh, I'll be putting up a World Download uh, down in the description. You guys can download it. And pretty much, if you want to play, uh, enable just enable every single mod. And like I said, you don't need Ethercraft or Falling Meteors. Uh, you can add Falling Meteors or Ethercraft if you want. Uh, but my best advice just enable every single mod also you need the latest version of doctors Ark smoke creatures If you still want to have my like horse and animals and stuff and uh, I use fast craft and optifine. So yeah uh, That's the thing uh, so okay Let's let's stop talking here for a second and ever since I added to change mods I'm getting some weird lag spikes. So okay, let's uh, let's do this so we got a golem animation core Also, I yeah, I need to put an animation core for this thing to work I forgot to mention that and then we're going to make an empty. I've never used golems before, but I'm assuming it has to, maybe it's empty. I'm not sure. So we're going to need some avarice and some void. Uh, this has uh, two avarice, so one, two, three. And I need two voids, or wait, how, many, how, how much void do I need? Let's see, empty, I need five void. Uh, so does this have one? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, I think. And then we do golem and yeah, core blank. And then let's go ahead and stick these guys together like that. 
Is, is that not a thing? How do I install this on the golem here? Um, can I just like, oh, okay, I, I stick you down and then do I, I stick that on top of you? And then now how do I pick you back up? Uh, no, let's, uh, there we go. Okay, okay, I see now. I see. Let's see now. Can I just stick him directly on here? Let, there we go. Okay, so and then boom. And then do I have to give you files now? Uh, I think I was doing that wrong before. Uh, but do I have to give you files now? Let's uh, let's look up how to make files real quick. Uh, file. Okay, I'm doing some research and we get golem core decanting. So let's just stupid train. You suck, man. I don't know why you're like doing stuff. I'm trying to record, dude. Uh, but yeah, look, we got decanting. So I, I don't know like what I need to use. So I'm just kind of like doing some different stuff here. Uh, so keep a tank filled with liquid decanting. Golems filled with this core will attempt to keep liquid inventory there attached to filled with an appropriate liquid. If you wish, you can specify what liquid it places in the tank by accessing the golems interface and placing a liquid tanner like a filled bucket in the slot. All other liquids will be ignored. A decanting golem can only carry 100 millibucket of liquid per item. It's material. Yeah, okay, that is that. It's really cool. Okay, so apparently I made the wrong golem. I had to make a tallow golem. So uh, let's just go ahead. I made the tallow golem already. Um, and then I need to actually start labeling these uh, uh, jars of uh, Essentia here. So the way we do this is we actually need to make uh, labels. And the way you make labels is you just take some paper like so. You take some ink dye and some slime balls and you get some jar labels. Now, the jar labels, you have to label these specifically. Uh, so let me let me clean up my inventory here a little bit. I just have a bunch of crap on my that where I've been uh, <laughs> where I've been doing stuff. Uh, let me go ahead and get put this guy back and this guy back and uh, these guys back. And let me grab some stuff. So I'm gonna grab. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess I only have room for uh, one. Uh, so I need one one air. Let's go ahead and stick the air back. Uh, the air goes like right here. And then you just got to stick this guy on top of that. There we go. So now, you know, like, uh, now I need to label every single one of these jars. I probably won't do that today, but, you know, you got to label all of them. Make sure you get everything. And then, like, your golem and stuff knows exactly where to put things. Uh, so, like, for example, let me go ahead and do Herba. And then I think this is Herba, right? Yeah, that's Herba. Nice. And then, oh, no. Did I waste these? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, good. Good. I was like, did I waste these? No. Uh, let me go ahead and grab all these. Let me put Herba back in here. And then uh, Arbor, Arbor is another one. So you just got to label all these. And then I think, uh, let's go ahead and uh, where's my Arbor at? Let me just put Arbor right here. And then, or Messis? Was that Arbor or Messis? Okay, so I have everything. Let's just one, two, three, four, five. And then I guess we'll throw 10 of these guys in. And then I actually want to throw two of these guys in. So boom, we get two uh, decanting. Nice. Uh, so let me, let me, uh, let me, how do I, hmm. Let's, uh, oh, oh. Oh, no, I don't... Mm, you're not supposed to hold that guy. You're supposed to... Shall I gather all those liquids or just uh, those you specify? Show me a container with the liquid and I'll do your bidding. Um, hmm. Maybe that's not the exact one I want. Let's uh, let's get rid of this guy. Let's right-click him again. Uh, let's give him the decanting thing again. And then... Uh, can I give him files? Can I like be like, boom? No? I can't just make you like hold things, man? How do I just do... Okay, well, I guess, hmm, that's really weird. You know what I could do, though, is let me grab out this uh, golem again, and <laughs> let, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me do this, and then, oh, is he going to take damage? No, he's not. Okay, then let's stick this guy right here, and then what I want to do is I want to say boom, and then, I guess, boom? Okay, okay. Well, you know, we figured out the water part. We just got to figure out this part now. <laughs> okay, so I think I've finally figured it out. I think I need the alchemy golem animation core. So for this, we actually need the decanting core, which is pretty convenient since I made one. So I guess I was kind of on the right track. Uh, so this requires water bottles, all this stuff, and a warded jar. So let's go ahead and set this guy up. I made a couple extra water bottles just in case we needed it. Um, I have the warded jar right there. I'm going to go ahead and grab another one because this has a chance to fail. Uh, so let's do one water bottle right there, one water bottle right there, one right there, and then one warded... Nope, nope, that's not what I want. Uh, one warded jar right there. Let's go ahead and grab this. And then I guess that's everything. We just got to put the decanting in the center. And then let me grab my wand. And then I have everything we need for the um, for the infusion here. We actually need um, aqua modus and precatio. Uh, Precantatio. And we have that. Uh, we have... Aqua and we have modus. I went ahead and got everything that we needed. 
Um, so let me grab the wand here. Boom, wand, let's grab it, let's start the thing, and then boom, done. So we're about to see this guy start to do its magic. And while this is doing, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and just right-click this guy right there. And apparently, the golem can uh, access any of this stuff from any of this stuff right here. So that's really cool. And uh, they'll automatically start filling up the jars. I need to, like, I guess I'll just set the ones that I already have marked and kind of just leave the rest of them until uh, we fill them up with stuff. Um, but looks like everything's going okay so far. I don't see anything that's actually got knocked off. Uh, no, every, yeah, everything looks okay. So we got a water bottle right there. We got a second one. We're about to have a third one. We actually haven't had a failed infusion yet, which is good. Is this it? Is this it? Is that it? Uh, alchemy. Yes. Okay. So let's uh, right click. Boom. Done. Now can we can we right click him? Uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, let's let me. Can I like? No. Nope. Um. Okay. So I guess I figured it out. I'm not sure. So he's. He's, I guess he's drawing stuff from here, but let's just go ahead and be like, uh, uh, let me, let me right click this guy. So and then boom, boom. And then he, oh yeah, there we go. Look at him. He's doing stuff. Look at him. Yeah. I, I didn't really want him to do that, but he actually holds a whole thing, like a whole jar filled with Essentia. That's really cool. Um, yeah, I guess he just fills up any empty jars until we fully label them. That kind of sucks, but yeah, it's still really, really cool. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, uh, I actually have a bunch. I've been doing some uh, hunting of pigs and cows just because I'm running really low on food. And I've been using my thing over there to actually... Uh, what the balls? Is this not a thing? Wait a sec. I thought this was... Oh, I need sugar, too. Uh, so, yeah, I've been hunting a lot of pigs and cows. I've been throwing them here. And they give these little nuggets. And, uh, yeah, I already... Oh, chicken nugget. Nice, nice. And some more beef nuggets. So, I have a crap ton of meat. Just because, for some reason, there's a lot of animals around here. And what I want to do is let's grab some sugar cane. Let's turn this all into sugar. And then I want to put all... I want to make a crap ton of... Uh, let's see. Let's do uh, pork nuggets and beef nuggets. And we get freaking tri triple meat treats here. Um, <laughs> look at this. Nice! I love triple meat treats. We might figure out a way to automate these in the future. Uh, it would be pretty easy. We just need three different types of um, animal farms and then just to feed them into the infernal furnace. But yeah, this is actually really cool. I'm glad we have these. And uh, yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Sorry that today is such a short episode. And pretty much it was kind of filled with fails. We didn't really do that much. Uh, but it actually took me a really long time because I kept trying to figure out how to do stuff. And I just couldn't figure it out. So, yeah, this was Derp Golem episode. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it is World Download. So, you guys get to play with the world and do that kind of stuff. Also, we have a jungle tree here. Uh, what I want to do is actually I want to get a – I don't see it yet. But I think there's like a, a lumber – golem animation or something where I know you can use golems to cut down trees I'm just not sure exactly which one it is I don't think it's harvest yeah it doesn't say anything about trees with the harvest uh, oh well oh that's cool they can replant with order upgrade oh that's really nice uh, wait 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 did that just say uh, re this could fail the plant fell to drop the proper seed or seedling oh I thought it said sapling there um, yeah, but I want to do this, and then I actually want to see if the golem can use uh, this guy right here. Let me go ahead and correctly fix this guy's data. Uh, boom. And then let's just... Uh, what? I... I broke everything. Dang it. Dang it, I broke everything. It's fine. It's fine. I'll fix it later. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to call it here, guys. Uh, I love y'all's faces. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to go ahead and click the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Um, you know, make sure to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you for the next one. One final thing, guys, I forgot to mention is uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick my stuff in this chest. I'm just going to stick it like right here. Boom. All my stuff. Now, well, before I put my stuff in there, I'm going to go ahead and make a tome of knowledge sharing, which is actually uh, pretty easy to make. Let's just go ahead and be like, boom. And then boom, 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 and then this guy right here. And then, oh, does this have to be, like, completely filled? Does this have to be filled? Hmm. Uh, I figured it would just use, like, part of the ink or something. Let's just go ahead and try this. Boom. And then, uh, boom, there we go. T uh, tome. Oh, that actually uses the ink. Dang it. Um, and then do I have to assign this? And then, boom. Yeah, there we go. So it's bound to my research now. So what I'm going to do is stick all of the stuff in here. Uh, everything. This is all my stuff. You guys can just grab it, use it. You can get all my research and all that stuff. 
and uh, you know play with my world you know also i would love to see some pictures and stuff like that of my world you guys can do some cool stuff maybe even give me some ideas um that would even be better if you guys gave me some ideas i'm also sorry about the the two maps in the top right corner <laughs> i can't decide which one i actually want i kind of want to keep opus but i don't know how to get rid of the opus map and it also resets to whatever it is every single time anyways yeah, send me some pictures, do some cool stuff in my world, and it definitely it, it should help help inspire me and stuff. If you guys have some cool ideas, and if I use any of your ideas, I will of course credit you and you know talk about it in the video. And you guys should actually spawn over there somewhere. That's where spawn is, right over there. And then uh, you'll be able to like swim over here, grab my stuff inside of my little base and in, inside over here, and everything should be good. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you have a fantastic day, and uh, I'll see you for the next one.